Hey gang, recently a buddy of mine uh, was looking at a Ruger 9E and he sent me an ad for it. And when I saw the picture, I said, that looks just like the Ruger SR9C that I already have. Uh, I wonder what the differences are. So we researched it real quick and then we went to a local gun shop and checked it out because they had one on sale. So this is a picture of my buddy Adam, super happy because he just bought his first gun. And uh, he brought it out to the range here recently. And we did some shooting with it, and uh, I figured I'd break down the comparison because I didn't see a, a whole lot of info on YouTube necessarily, uh, you know, breaking down the comparison between the Ruger SR9 and the uh, Ruger 9E, the new 9E, which is a much more affordable pistol than the, uh, sorry about the text message out there, uh, but it's much more affordable than the SR, uh, but still a super quality firearm. So we're going to go ahead and break down the differences. And we're going to talk about the similarities as well, and, uh, and let you see guys make uh, make your own decisions here, and and, uh, and see what you think. So you know differences. First of all, we're going to talk about the rail, or the slide rather. Um, you know, there's no silver or chrome option on the on the rail uh, with the 9E. Uh, that was one of the ways that they kept the cost down. So it does come in black only. You're going to see that the milling is quite a bit different. Um, you know, the grip area where you grab the slide to, to rack around, uh, there's not as many lines milled into the rail there. Uh, also, on the front of the rail, uh, there's absolutely no milling there whatsoever. So, uh, you know, again, some cost savings that they did, uh, you know, to go ahead and try to, try to keep the cost down. Um, one of the other big differences is the loaded chamber indicator, which frankly, on my SR9C, I was never a fan of that anyway um, you know you should always know what state your, your firearms in but uh, so that is gone that was another cost savings move that Ruger did uh, you know so you'll see here on the top of the of the slide uh, that that is now gone on the 9e uh, the rear sights are different also and some of the research that I did online they talked about the fact that the milling uh, you know was different on the 9e again for a cost savings uh, move but quite frankly uh, I, I like the rear sights on the 9E better, uh, you know, they're just easier to see it. You get a, a, a quicker, better, faster sight picture with the rear sights on the 9E than you do, at least on the SRC9 or, or, or SR9C. Uh, I don't have the, uh, the full size SR9 uh, to compare it to. So, um, you know, and that's really it for the differences. Uh, you know, we could talk about uh, a lot of the similarities, the magazines. It's the exact same 17 round magazine uh, that I use in the SR9C. You can take that out and you can remove the, uh, the, the actual handguard extension and it'll slide right into the 9E, no problem. The part numbers are exactly the same. Uh, so again, the only difference is that, uh, that plastic piece that comes off for the, uh, the grip extension. So uh, now the 10 round magazine that comes in the compact version will not fit. And, uh, and I imagine that will not fit in the full-size SR9 also. Uh, so it's the 17 rounder or larger only. Uh, so so that's, a, that's good, you know, similarities there that the, the magazine's the same between the two. Uh, the breakdown is absolutely identical uh, between the SR9 and the 9E. So I was able to show my buddy how to tear it down and get it all clean and everything. Uh, we ran about 100 rounds through it uh, that day after we, we moved it up, took it down to the range. And, uh, and put a bunch of lead down range and the thing performed perfectly. We, we had no feed jams, you know, the thing was uh, sighted in real well right out of the box. Uh, absolutely no issues with the firearm whatsoever. So, you know, all in all, this is a fantastic firearm. And at the time of this recording, uh, he got this on sale and uh, the sale price on the firearm was 285, if I remember right, it was, it was sub 300 which is fantastic for a Ruger, Ruger pistol, and, uh, and, a, and this is a quality Ruger pistol, uh, you know, to boot. So, uh, you know, great, great quality again out of Ruger in this firearm at a, at a really nice low cost. I know years ago, it's been at least seven years probably since I bought that SR9C, uh, but I know I paid around six for it, uh, you know, when I bought it back then. So, you know, if you haven't checked this out, I encourage you to check it out. It's a great low price. Uh, firearm, you know, it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably pick one up on Friday if the sale is still going. So, you know, hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments and, uh, and we'll get them addressed for you. 
So uh, thanks. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you later.